What's up everyone? Welcome to week 49. So this week I'm going to talk very briefly about what happened in this week and reflecting back to my entire second year of my PhD. Uh, how can you beat the monotonicity during your PhD in two simple ways? That's my take on it. Like that's what I do. And maybe it can also make a difference in your lives if you are doing a PhD and how can you overcome that monotonicity or that uh, boredom. First advice will be to uh, always keep yourself busy, never be idle. If you ever find that you are idle, like you don't have a purpose or maybe you are always reading articles and then you become bored and you start thinking about something or sit in a place and uh, just think about something like maybe become too happy or too sad. So that gives rise to this kind of feelings or thoughts uh, which may cause uh, depression I would not call it depression but there is a high probability that that might happen because you'll always be thinking about something instead of doing so that's my first advice what I have also seen in myself never be idle always try to do something by doing something does not mean that you need to do physically something you can do something mentally like for example uh, think of a company that you want to build in the future or think about uh, writing a short blog which only needs mental effort not like any physical efforts or maybe read a book or something like that so taking that into account my next point is take at least two uh, of the things in your life that you love the most so take up two things and try to work on it uh, apart from doing your PhD. So in the PhD, you will be busy in all those things. Apart from that, maybe you can read some other articles or maybe if you're interested in uh, sports, then you can uh, dedicate one day a week or some hours a day, depending on your schedule uh, for that particular sport or maybe for hanging out with your friends. Make it like a habit, like an activity. So in my case, I like vlogging, which you are seeing now and i also like cooking so i take up these two things very seriously and i would say roughly i dedicate like one or two days a week to it apart from traveling and other things and also obviously my phd so these are the two basic ways in which you can motivate or uplift your mood and uh, overcome that monotonicity during your PhD. I hope you like this video. I am Sambit. I do all these videos on studying and living in Netherlands and I also do these weekly PhD vlogs. Don't forget to share this video among your friends. Keep helping each other, love each other. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in upcoming weeks. Till then, peace.